Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker Dean Harper Realtors. Well, I've got my global luxury badge on today, so that's giving you a hint. The house we're gonna be videoing today is absolutely gorgeous. It's a luxury home being built by Evolutionary Homes. They're one of my favorite luxury home builders, and the reason I'm doing it is I've got a client who's already bought a gorgeous piece of land, and he's kind of builder shopping right now. He's leaning towards Evolutionary Homes but they don't have a model home. They don't do that because, well, that keeps their overhead cost lower, better for clients. So I want to video the tape, video this house to showcase what they can do. So uh, hopefully my buyer can have as much information as possible to make decision on which builder to go to. Anyways, let's head out front and start the tour. All right, this beautiful home is being built for someone else, not my client, in the community of Bell Oaks in Bolverde, Texas. And funny coincidence, uh, about three years ago, I had a client interested in maybe going up to phase nine and I spent like all day videoing different lots out here. And the first lot I video was the one next to it. This lot was already under contract. And as we go through it, you're gonna see why. Those premium lots go fast once the new, once the community releases them. That's why it's so important to get out there as soon as possible. But uh, yeah, Evolutionary Homes, I did do an interview with one of the owners about three years ago and showcased one of their homes then and about two months ago i met the other owner with my client and we actually went to his personal residence and that went a long way toward uh, building trust with my client so yeah he's definitely considering this gorgeous home but i love the details on it. they got some wood look there those are actually i believe ceramic tiles but they look like wood the stone and the stucco combination. This home is absolutely gorgeous. It is not 100% complete yet, as you can tell, but the owners of this house are starting to move in a little bit. So remember, this is not a model home. This is actually someone's residence, but it's at the stage where it's a really good chance to showcase them and show off what they can do. All right, before we go in, make sure you hit that like button, but also hold on to your butts because you're about to see something that's amazing. All right, check this view out. You could tell the client and the builder designed this house around the view. And wow, is this a big payoff because you walk in and it is just breathtaking. The view they have of the Texas Hill Country, the pool, it, it is just really epic. Now, I mentioned before, this house is in the finishing stage. The owners are starting to move some of their stuff in. So remember, I don't try to make perfect videos. I try to make informative videos. But this is the great room of the house. One of the things I love about this, they did the linear fireplace, giving you plenty of room to put your big TV and then a little slat up there. That's gonna be your built-in uh, speaker. But let's come around here and I'll turn around and give you a whole view of this great room space. Love the wood on the top, the built-in lights and the air conditioning vents are really custom looking, looks really amazing. Love that they've brought a little bit of stone in but not overwhelming into here. And the kitchen is just really elegant. Some stuff is still in the finishing stages. We don't have a cooktop yet, but the beautiful granite, uh, I believe that's gonna be a quartz cooktop. Ah, countertop. They've got gas already plumbed for the oven, but really nicely done. Let's give a little view from behind the sink. They did go with a granite composite sink, which I really like, and the high-end uh, uh, fixtures there. But just check out the view from just behind the sink. This is really cool. All right, something else is really cool is this builder allows you to bring your own uh, stuff in sometimes so they have some antique doors that you're going to see incorporated in the rest of the house and i love the fact, fact they've got this little swing door here that opens up both ways going to the pantry and lots of drawer space you're seeing more and more people wanting to do these pull out drawers which is really nice and makes things real easy to get in and out of stuff and they've got the little uh, chill fridge or wine fridge all built into it and remember this is it's kind of cool it swings both ways Makes it very convenient, a little squeaky, very convenient if you've got your arms full. All right, let's head off and check out some of these other bedrooms back. Uh, let's go this way first. And yes, we are gonna go outside eventually, but once again, the rock wall, 
<clears throat> these antique doors just add a really nice touch. And good God, this is a tall door. So they had the door and they built the house around it. So that's very neat. All right, <clears throat> coming in, let's go this way first. You got kind of a game room area, could be a bar because you got your little wet bar spot right there. It looks like some space for some uh, adult beverages, maybe some glasses, refrigerator, and just a really nice feel of a room. You got your sliding doors going out to the outside area for more entertainment. And this has a full bathroom in it. So really nicely done, your full shower, especially if you're trying to go out to the pool. <clears throat> and one of the things I like seeing is they got the electric outlets there. If you wanted to put a um, bidet type system in there, you definitely can. So glad to see them doing that a little bit more. And here's the closet for it. All right, let's go check out some of these other rooms. We got another full bedroom set up over here. Just a nicely done, very elegant, good sized closets. We're gonna have our Jack and Jill bathroom going into the other bedroom. Really nice lights there. You got your toilet, really deep bathtub. I love the fact they took the tile all the way to the top. All right, coming into this bedroom, kind of mirrors that last one, but lots and lots of light in here. Love that. Good size closet. Now, before you put in the comments about, hey, how much was this house? Uh, remember, Texas is a non-disclosed state, and this is not my listing, so I don't want to talk about the price of this house, but I can tell you, oh, real quick, I want to show off this room. A uh, little smart media room and stuff here too. So that's kind of cool too. Um, but I do want to say most of the time people are building with evolutionary homes. You're looking at anywhere between $325 to $400 a square foot. It all depends on what you put into the house. So these giant windows here, yeah, that's going to add some cost. But it's definitely worth it when you have a view like this. Um, I believe this house is just around 3,100 square feet. All right, before we go look at the master bedroom, let's head on outside. All right, we do have the landscapers out here finishing up, but this pool is absolutely gorgeous. I love the fact that they've got some uh, artificial grass in here stepping down, but if you've got a lot that's got some slope to it, it's not the end of the world because they built kind of at the edge of the flat space, kind of pulled it back some, and then built this area up a little bit, meaning you can still have this epic view and plenty of space. They do build on one acre lots out here, but yeah, they're just a beautiful place for entertainment. They've got the hot tub. And another thing I like about it is you're so far away from everybody else. If you wanted to go swimming without getting your swimsuit wet, you definitely can do that. Uh, Bell Oaks does require you to have a septic system. They have an aerobic. Please don't stress out about that. That's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, anytime you're on like these one acre lot communities, it's gonna be a septic required. Built-in kitchen is still work in progress. All right, let's head off into the master bedroom side. Oh, gotta show you, remember, everybody has their own taste. So this is gonna be your main powder room. So I definitely like that light color there. <coughs> and a little toilet set up there. But once again, they did their, brought in their own custom doors. And my other, I have another client who had asked the question about, can he bring stuff from Mexico? and have stuff made. And this builder, Evolutionary Homes, they also said, yes, you definitely can do that. Here's the garage, a big two bay garage. They have a whole home filtration system going into it, but this is a three car garage home. And, uh, oops, bear with me. There we go. Um, you have a whole nother bay right here plenty of space, some natural lighting, and some additional storage there. And, oh, there's the air conditioning thing. I mentioned that in my last video, that Monticello home. 
having that air conditioning into the space here really allows you to do whatever you want with this room. If you want to have it as a mechanical room, a tinkering room, or if you want to make this your personal gym, that air conditioning thing and being able to close the door definitely allows you to build your own personal gym in your house without it kind of really being in, in your house. All right, we're coming into the master bedroom. This is the laundry room right here. I'm gonna show you that in a little bit more. But master bedroom, uh, a little bit of a unique shape, but it all kind of curves with the house, but plenty of space in here. Lots of wind, big windows with view of the Texas Hill Country and the pool. It's gonna be gorgeous waking up to that view every morning. And they got some little built-in countertops there, our, our nightstands. Once again, more uh, custom doors. This is really old, but they turned it into a little barn door going into the kitchen. Absolutely love that. So right when you come in, you can't help but see this gorgeous, deep soaking tub with plenty of ledges there. So if you want to do a little bubble bath, drink a little wine, you definitely can. Big, big shower. And one thing I noticed, uh, there's not a big step down. It's a very gradual, and they've got a little um, lip on there so water doesn't get out. So it's a very gradual slide, not a big step down. But they got the rain shower on here, beautifully done. Got the step, absolutely love that. All right, his and her vanities. Love the fact they got this beautiful tile going all the way through here. <clears throat> got your water closet in here definitely love these fan some of these fancy toilets there we go that is so cool i definitely like that reminds me of a south park episode i watched once about japanese toilets if you know what i'm talking about check it out it's a pretty funny one all right check out this closet this closet they went all out on love the light love how they got the drawers in here you can get yourself all ready without ever leaving your closet plenty of hanging spaces um i just love everything about this closet they even got a little makeup spot right here so you can really make sure you're all good to go before you go anywhere and they've got that sneaky need that i like so much having access to your laundry room from your master bedroom closet i mean master bedroom bath but Oh yeah, from the closet. I was right the first time. Something else I want to point out that I really like. I haven't seen this before. I've seen some laundry rooms where you got the step down to uh, just in case there's a leak in the washing machine and floods. They've got a little small nook built in with a drain. I really like that. When I talked to the sales rep for Evolutionary Homes, she was telling me, like, no, that's one of the things we do in all of our builds. And I really do appreciate that. That's so nice. And having a little extra outside door going through here and going on outside. All right, let's head on back through this beautiful closet. I love the fact they got the lights up there on both sides, creating plenty of light in here. More natural light in this bathroom and then tons of light in the master bedroom. So yes, a beautiful home done by Evolutionary Homes. I'm so thankful they allowed me to come in and do this video for them. Because like I said before, I want my clients to have as much information about these builders and uh, as possible. And hopefully they use me as their real estate agent because I do try to provide as much information as possible. But even just having the light up top there, it's really nicely done. All right, that's gonna wrap up the tour of this beautiful luxury home built by one of my favorite luxury custom home builders, Evolutionary Homes. I really like them. Like I said, meeting both their owners and I definitely feel a sense of trust. And when you're building a custom home, you really want to feel that trust with your owners because it's such an intimate process compared to building with a production homes. You know, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, but always remember to share these videos with friends and family, especially if they're not already working with a real estate agent and they, they're interested in what I do. If I bring a little value, it's okay to contact me. My contact information will be on the final slide, but it's also gonna be in the description box where you can even click a link to my Calendly app and schedule a Zoom meeting me. Uh, Zoom meeting with me. I'll be happy to provide as much information as possible. All right, take care now. <laughs> Bye.